Dr. Rachel here. If you see these signs in your cat, you should bring it to the vet because it just might have feline acid. I see a lot of pet owners that say that their cat's healthy and I ask them, does the cat ever vomit or cough? And they'll say that they might have a hairball every now and then, but upon deeper investigation, it actually turns out to be feline asthma. It's definitely easy to confuse the two if you don't know what to look for. With feline asthma, they will not produce a hairball and they'll be breathing a lot more rapidly. If your vet suspects that your cat may have asthma, they'll probably want to take an x-ray or radiograph. These x-rays will often show air trapping and hyperinflation, which are telltale signs of asthma. Depending on the severity of the asthma though, sometimes you won't see changes on an x-ray. When making this diagnosis, it's also important to rule out things like heart disease and heartworms. Depending on how frequently the asthma is happening and how severe it is, your vet may recommend treatment. The treatment for asthma is steroids, and there's a couple different ways we can give this. My preferred way to give steroids is through an inhaler because it's a lot less risk for side effects if you're breathing it directly into the lungs and it's not going systemically. There are oral steroids and injectable versions available, but I have seen some side effects such as heart disease and diabetes develop because of this. It's also really important to manage their environment because this can be a big trigger for asthma. You can do this by not smoking around your cat, using dustless cat litter, and using air purifiers in your home. If you want to know more about feline asthma, I recommend going to the website Fritz the Brave as they have a lot of good information there for pet owners. <coughs>